in this video you will learn how to solve a game with the help of the rule of dominance where the saddle point doesn't exist let us take an example of a payoff matrix where the players were are a and b it is the a's payoff matrix because a is on the left hand side and b is on the top side the strategies of a are 1 2 and 3 and that of b also 1 2 and 3 let us check whether this matrix has an saddle point or not so let us find a row minimum and column maximum this is row minimum and this way column maximum row minimum for the first row it is 1 for the second row row minimum is 2 and for third row row minimum is 1 in the same way the column maximum for the first column is 6 column maximum for the second column is 7 and that of the third column is 7 again now this circle and square are having different different cell entries they are not having a common cell entry so this payoff matrix doesn't have a saddle point now we will use the rule of dominance to solve this game with the given payoff matrix let us remove this now for the player a the gain of player a is given in the payoff matrix as 1 7 2 for the first strategy of a for the second strategy game of gain of a is 6 2 and 7 and gain of a for the third strategy is 5 7 and 5 1 and 6 and these are the loss by the matrix b that means if 1 is the gain by player a then minus 1 is the gain by player b that means 1 is lost by player b and say 7 if 7 is the gain by player a then 7 is the loss by player b now from a's point of view the a will play the strategy where his or her gain is maximum now for the first strategy the gain of a is 1 7 and 2 for the second strategy gain of a is 6 2 and 7 and the for the trust third strategy 5 1 and 6 and the a will play that strategy whose uh, where the maximum gain he or she can have now let us compare the rows for the first strategy 1 7 and 2 and second strategy 6 2 and 7 let us compare 1 and 2 here 1 is less than 6 but 7 is greater than 2 and again 2 is less than 7 if we compare the th second and third strategy the 5 is less than 6 this 1 is also less than 2 and 6 is less than 7 that means in the third strategy all the values are smaller than the corresponding values of the second strategy so the player a will not play the third strategy so he can eliminate the third strategy because the third strategy values are less than the second strategy now we are left with only two rows for player a let us compare the columns of player b strategy strategies of player b the player b will play those strategies where his loss is minimum here let us compare the first and second column if b plays the first column uh, first strategy his loss is 1 for the second strategy loss is 7 1 is less than 7 or 7 is greater than 1 but for the second uh, value second uh, first and second uh, column value 6 and 2 the 2 is greater than smaller than 6 so we cannot compare 2 and 3 let us compare the other column the first column and the third column so b's first strategy is 
वन एंड सिक्स हिज लॉस इज वन एंड सिक्स एंड इन द थर्ड स्ट्रेटेजी हिज लॉस इज टू एंड सेवन इफ यू कंपेयर द वैल्यूज ऑफ फर्स्ट स्ट्रेटेजी एंड थर्ड स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ बी देन दिस टू इज ग्रेटर देन वन एंड सेवन इज ऑल्सो ग्रेटर देन सिक्स दैट मीन्स इफ द इफ बी प्लेज द थर्ड स्ट्रेटेजी हिज लॉ हिज लॉस इज मोर देन इफ यू प्लेज द फर्स्ट स्ट्रेटेजी दैट मीन्स द बी विल नॉट be willing to play the third strategy because his loss is more in playing the third strategy so he will eliminate the third strategy now we are left with a 2 by 2 matrix 1 7 6 and 2 let us write 6 and 2 where b is the player first strategy and second strategy for player a this is the first strategy and the second strategy then the given payoff matrix is reduced to a 2 by 2 matrix with mixed strategies so to solve this game uh, with two rows and two columns the reduced matrix we can use the mixed strategy to solve the and uh, this 2 by 2 game 